Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Carol. She is AA4CS, which is an amateur extra call sign. Uh, hello, Dave. Soon I will be relocating to a new home in the southwest U.S. The property is large, and behind the house is a ridge that would make the perfect spot for some antennas. The distance from the house to the ridge is not insignificant at around 500 to 700 feet, and I'm considering using a long run of 450 ohm window or 600 ohm ladder line. Go with the 600 ohm. Um, less loss. And a ballon in each end in order to reduce ohmic losses. Now, um, 450 is a ratio of uh, 9 to 1, so that would be the size of the ballon. Uh, 600 to 50 is 12 to 1 ballon. Uh, a little hard to get, you may have to roll that your, yourself. Okay, the shack end will transition to ladder line upon exiting the house, be supported up the ridge on poles. At the antenna site, I plan to transition back to coax as I will have multiple HF antennas, hex beam, 40 meter vertical wire dipoles and loops, and so on, will be selectable with a remotely operated switch. You want to test that switch with your balance because the switch puts DC over the feed line and it may be that uh, it won't make it through the ballon because the ballon is a transformer and therefore in some cases uh, of ballons will not transmit the DC uh, through it. So you may have to find a way around it like a choke around the ballon so that you get uh, the DC to go on around it. Okay, um, could you please suggest the correct type of ballon for this application as I have been unable to find any clear or suitable guidance so far. And then she says some very nice things and let's take a look on the uh, overhead. We've got 50 ohm coax. With a wire coming out of it. Okay. The wire's actually coming out the middle. Alright, and then you've got ladder line which is parallel line and between here and here you have a ballon. Okay, now the ballon that you want between 50 ohms, if this is 50 and then this is 600 and then this is 50 again, you need a ballon at each end. If this is like 5 to 6 hundred feet, okay, then you would put a ballon right here that is the ratio of 600 to 50, which is 12. You want a 12 to, um, 12 to 1 ballon. Okay, now you make that with the square root of this in terms of uh, turns. Now you can go 13 turns or you can go 11 turns. You can experiment with either one to one turn on this. Now in standard ballon construction you'd make this about 3 which would make this um, 3 times that or 36. Alright? And then this gets you do the opposite at the other end. Now a common form for a ballon is some turns to here, some turns to here. This, this is ground, okay, and so this is uh, balanced over here, and this is unbalanced with this being the ground connector right here in the middle, and then this is balanced swinging around ground. Now if you try and put a voltage across here, the problem you run in with is that this is a DC short to here. Okay, that's a DC short. So your voltage will be shorted out. Now you've got two things you can do. You can run a control cable all the way up to where you have the relay. 
or you can put in um, and you'd have to experiment with some values fairly large capacitor right here and then you would have a choke connect to that and then you would have this right here will give you your DC ground okay so this is and then you do the reverse at the other end I think you might be better off running separate control cables for the coax switch okay they may have to be a little bit bigger than the usual number 18 to get five or six hundred feet just to see how much uh, loss we're going to put into that let's just take a look at the 600 ohm uh, cable in transmission line for windows we're going to take transmission line for windows and see what we're going to lose in that 600 ohm line the length is 500 feet okay <clears throat> frequency is well let's just make it uh, 20 meters okay now let's go down and change our antenna uh, this would be just right before that final ballon we'll change that to 600 ohm okay and we see a resistance at the line input of one uh, I'm sorry the SWR at the line endpoint is one it's assuming this ballon and everything work perfectly SWR at the load 1.01 okay additional loss due to SWR is nothing the total line loss is 0.345 dB and this is 500 feet of um, 600 ohm open wire line made with number 12 wire which is stiff and hard as the dickens to work with and the impedance at the input and so on just out of curiosity let's make this off a little bit okay we'll go 500 ohms and uh, make the reactants a little bigger here 14 okay but we're still only losing 3.51 db in that line so the transmission line for windows program shows that using the number uh, 12 ladder line will work really well and can go those distances now you're saying that you are going to uh, use a pole or a series of poles to run that up and I would suggest getting it high enough in the air that people can't hit it or bring it down maybe 20 feet if you can use wood poles okay and uh, as though it were a telephone line and uh, use non-metallic attachments to the wood okay so that uh, you know like you can take the ladder line along the side and glue or put a little something in there that'll hold that in place if you don't put any metal in there it will help that that open wire line do what it needs to do without having any losses or anything due to the way it is mounted it needs to be kept away from everything okay so there you have it if you have followed this video to this point I think you like the channel and if so please click subscribe and share and let other people know about this channel too and if you want to help keep this channel going there are some ways you can do that in the charts that follow in the end screens so until we next meet 73